Hi, I'm using a Hamilton Beach ice cream maker. I really like this. Take this little container here and put it in your freezer overnight. It's nice and cold. Start this first, and here's the ice cream mixture. I just finished pouring in one quart of the ice cream mixture. And now this thing will turn, usually by 30 minutes it's done. But what I love about this is I can leave this running and go do something else while this makes ice cream. I don't have to use rock salt. I don't have to use ice. Whoa, look at this expanding now. Wow. So I'm going to stop it and pack it up. Effortless ice cream using this Hamilton Beach ice cream maker. You know, I'd remove the lid. You know what's nice about this? All I have to do is is remove this is the motor ha motor I can remove the motor easily from this top and then I can wash the top just fine the motor doesn't get dirty and here's this ice cream that's the beater in it, it just stayed I take the beater out you see the little green flecks in there from the stevia plant that I put in there let me dip this in and see how this is gonna taste mmm mmm this is good I want to eat something that's nice and natural that I've made myself. When I do it again, I won't use the stevia leaves. I will use regular stevia. Good day now, and I made chocolate ice cream. Actually, ice milk with stevia. Notice how this thing, once it's starting to get strong, it starts to have a hard time turning. That lets you know it's about ready for you to stop it. And here it is, homemade chocolate ice cream made with stevia and it's lower calorie because I used one cup two percent milk two cups of half and half four tablespoons of cocoa two teaspoons of vanilla and two-thirds cup of stevia and then churned it up in my Hamilton Beach ice cream maker which I just love and it took 30 minutes of churning while I went off and took a nap. This is another ice cream making day with my Hamilton Beach ice cream maker. And what this is, is homemade vanilla. Boy, does that look good. It makes a soft ice cream. Mmm. Always, this takes about 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, the ice cream is ready. It's soft scoop, but of course, I enjoy some soft scoop. And then the rest I'll put in here and stick in the freezer for a little harden off. Yum, yum. Great way to make ice cream. No rock salt, no hassle. Uh, I've shown you before how it works. And here comes out the beater. This stuff is delicious.